guys, welcome back to another dope episode of On the Scene. Tonight we are continuing on with another amazing guest, Chicago's own writer, author, filmmaker, director. Did I say author yet? Yes, you did. I did. Yep. I'm saying it again. <laughs> welcome, David Silas. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. And thank you for having me on. You are so welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. How's your Friday going? My Friday is actually going pretty good. You know, it's, you know, I did a little run around today. I knew I had this thing going on, so I've okay. been anticipating it. Okay. So, Silas, why don't you tell us a little bit about that dope t-shirt you got on there? The County. Oh, the County right here. Wait, hold up. It's, it says count, the County Exercise Your Right to, to what is smoke. that? Smoke. To smoke. Okay, y'all, y'all peep that. Exercise Your Right to Smoke. All right. Yeah, let's uh this right here, this is this is a t shirt from my movie. This is the cover from my movie. Okay. That I got coming out right now. Call the county. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is this is this. It's dope. All it's right. nice. How did you come up with that title? What's the, what's the Uh actually, you know, the county is it's it's a real near and dear heart, uh project to my heart, man. Okay. You know, I wrote it while I was incarcerated. Okay. All right, and you know, it was it's it's kind of like my homage to to Friday. Friday was one of my best movies. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it is one so, too. So yeah, so when I um, when I think about the county, not that it has it has any similarities or anything, mm-hmm. but it just puts you in that same feel good frame of mode that Friday puts you in. Okay. You no, know, so when I was writing the movie. No, they was always at Cube and, uh-huh. and, and uh, Chris Tucker was yeah. always at the forefront of it. Okay. And you said you wrote this while you were incarcerated? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, okay. Not only that, you know, um, you know, the county was one of the projects that I worked on, mm-hmm. but I actually wrote seven novels. Wow. While yeah. Okay. Seven novels, two scripts, uh-huh. a whole slew of uh, greeting cards. You know, I actually started another greeting, uh, started a greeting card company. Wow. You know, okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. So, can you give us a little bit <clears throat> of a synopsis about the county? Or what, what oh, can yeah, expect? most definitely. Most definitely. The county. On the surface of the county, it is just, a, it's an hilarious comedy about the neighborhood weed man, uh-huh. which is Mookie and his disrespectfully funny best friend, d <laughs> I mean, when I say disrespectfully funny, man, this dude is just, he, he, he out there. Okay. You know, but, um, yeah, so it, it goes through the day-to-day annex that they go through, you know, mm-hmm. avoiding the police, the neighborhood bully, encounter with the neighborhood thotties and <laughs> things like that. Okay. But, um, but at its core, the mm-hmm. county is actually, you know, it's a story about fatherhood. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a story about fatherhood. Mookie, he's a first-time parent, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, young first-time parent, and he's just out there hustling, just trying to make a way for his son, little man, and his notoriously smart mouth baby mama, uh-huh. Toya. But, you know, and it, it, it really takes on, it takes on a... Um, it, it kind of mirrors a lot of the relationships that we have in our urban communities right okay. now. So it's going to be real relatable. It's a fun movie. It's oh, fun. Okay. It's got a lot of laughs. Okay. It. So when can we expect it? Uh, well, I'm hoping to have it. You should be able to be seeing it, you know, probably right there at the beginning of 2023. Okay. Yeah, nice. 2023, you know, those first couple months in on okay. that. You know, we're finishing up the project right now. Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually in the editing stages right now. Okay. But, you know, um, once we get it done, then it is going to be released on Tubi. So everybody nice. tune in to Tubi. Definitely to make sure you guys check it out. Accounting. Support. Absolutely, okay. yeah. And this is your very first featured film? Yes, this is my first feature film, man, and okay. you know it was. It, Congrats on that. Yeah, you know, like I say, it was real special, you know, and it uh-huh. was real special to really kind of get out there, and not only because it was my first film, but uh-huh. it was the first thing that I got an opportunity to direct. I got uh-huh. an opportunity to get out there and really see how the cinema, the cinema world works. Okay, and I see you know my girl uh, Cassandra Bell. Shout out to Cassandra. Shout out. Big shout out to Cassandra. Yeah, I, I, I know I know Miss Cassandra Bell, and um, she was instrumental in this whole entire project. She's amazing. 
Yeah, she's absolutely Great. amazing. Like she um she jack of all cra- mm-hmm. jack of all trades. Mm-hmm. She really absolutely knows her thing. Mm-hmm. And then you know, and I just really just gotta say that without Cassandra really kind of stepping in on the project, mm-hmm. then I wouldn't be having this interview right now. Okay. You know, okay. she really she really um, put her best foot forward, and she really made that project happen. That's man. amazing. Um, That's amazing. Dead it to Miss Bell. Yeah, shout out to Cassandra. <laughs> we love you, girl. Yes, indeed. Amazing, amazing. So you said you wrote two scripts, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So when you're done with this, are you gonna tackle oh, the yeah. second one? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's really actually not two scripts, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I got <clears throat> the county. And then I wrote a couple mini series. Okay. You know, so okay. one of those mini mini series is a spinoff from one of the books that I wrote. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's one of my that's my, my my urban street novel. Okay. And that's that novel is called The Block, but when it gets released as the series, uh-huh. it's gonna actually be it's gonna come under a new title. Oh, okay. But when it is released, it is going to. Um, it's gonna be based on the book. Oh, nice! You know? That'll be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. It's a dope project. I'm already working on it. And everything, <laughs> okay. You know, I got my people out there okay. who I know um, that I want it to be comparable to. Okay. You know, okay. to be able to stand in the same light as. Okay. But you know, eventually, because I'm such a dope writer, uh-huh. you know, it's gonna it's. It's gonna be up there. Okay. So, what is that one gonna be about? What's the, what's the um, based on, you said it's based on the book. So, what was what, yeah. it about? Well, the block is actually an urban tale. It's an urban street tale. Okay. You know, and it's a um, crew of cats. You know, they come together. And they actually hit a huge, humongous lick, you know, for mm-hmm. money, drugs, pills, you know, the whole nine. But the whole time, they don't realize that the people who they robbed was one of Chicago's uh, most corrupt and notorious homicide Ooh. detectives who works for, you know, the uh, the homicide detectives for the north side of Chicago. Oh, wow. So they from the south side and mm-hmm. they went up north and they did what they did and mm-hmm. And once everything took place, you know, everything spiraled out of control from there. So it's wow, a, it's a whole good. yeah, it's a whole thing that's okay, going on with that. Okay. So you have seven books out? No, I don't have seven books out. I've writ I wrote seven novels. I have oh, two okay. of them that are published. Oh, okay. One of them is The Block and the mm-hmm. other is What Love Sees. What is it? What love? What love sees. Ooh, okay. What's that about? It's a relationship novel. Oh. Okay. It's a relationship novel. It deals with relationships. Uh, it deals with the relationship between three, not only three ongoing couples, but uh-huh. the three ladies who are in the cu- who are in these relationships. They also are three best friends. Oh, okay. So we we tap into not only their relationships with their spouses, mm-hmm. but also their friendship, friendship relationship, relationship. Okay. and how their relationship with their spouses actually altered their relationships and ultimately brings mm-hmm. them, you know, to to disagreeable points. And, you know, it's 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 real relatable. It's it's reality based. It's very, very, very hard hidden. Mm-hmm. It's and like, and like I say, it's very reality reality based. And each okay. one of the couples is dealing with their own oh. their own thing. Okay. You know, so we tap in all the way with that. But it's a <clears throat> It's a great read. Okay. It's a great read. You plan on bringing that one to the screen eventually? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I hadn't, but you know, people have people who have read it. Mm-hmm. They said that they can see it there. Okay. You know, me myself, I can understand where mm-hmm. where we fit in at, mm-hmm. but I'm just not really right now. Um, the way that my mind is working right now, I just don't, I don't see, see that coming right okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the other books, are you gonna try and get those yeah. published? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that I didn't place myself in the box as a writer. Mm, you, you know, so even with the seven novels that I do have, mm-hmm. they're all from different genres. Oh, that's nice. You know, and then I did that okay. purposely just to challenge myself as a writer okay. to see if I could write a fantasy novel. Can I wow. write a horror novel? Oh. You know, because to me, that's amazing. Write, writing an urban novel is like rapping a, is like writing a gangster rap song. Okay. You know, I can do that in my sleep. Okay. That's where I come from. Uh-huh. But I wanted to try to 
step outside of that world uh-huh. and challenge myself as a writer to see if I could become as in depth in my storytelling uh-huh. from an urban novel mm-hmm. to a relationship novel to a fantasy novel to a suspense thriller okay. you know, things like that so oh that's amazing yeah that's, that's truly amazing so who are some of your inspirations some of my well you know most definitely one of my main inspirations you know especially when i start tapping into the film world you know i got cube Mm-hmm. You know, he was always one of my one of my favorite rappers, you know, in NWA. Yep. And then I just really loved the way that he navigated his career. Yeah. From music to business to filmmaking yeah. to expanding it to even to the big three. You know, mm-hmm. I got big ups, a lot of respect for that though. Um nice. I got a lot of respect for Fifty's business sense, you know, so I look at him. And I see how he navigated in the world, mm-hmm. you know, from the music and moved on to the filmmaking and mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I really like, um, you know, stories like Snowfall, mm-hmm. you know, and things like that, you know. But I, I got a wide, such a wide ver- variety, mm-hmm. you know, of people. You know, my favorite director, I believe, right now, you know, it would be Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. You know, I absolutely love Amazing. his work. I love his vision, mm-hmm. you know, the way that he goes about his projects and mm-hmm. things like that. So those are things that I would love to be able to tap in and eventually, you know, be able to um, have stories that were as compelling as those. Okay. Okay, so you mentioned Quentin Tarantino. Give me four more directors that you would want to work with. Um, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive, mm-hmm. okay, uh, John Singleton, mm-hmm. most definitely John Singleton, um, F. Gary Gray, mm-hmm. you know, he's dope, he's a dope, um, he's a dope director. Um, actually, you know, it's, it's, to be honest, I would probably know more films than the actual directors of mm-hmm. them, you know, and it's, it's sort of like, I, I kind of fall back on the stories that I like. Okay. And and I haven't actually taken the time out to mm-hmm. really dwell into who actually directed all of those stories. Oh, okay. You know, so like, okay. you know, like stories like Pulp Fiction, which is a Quentin Tarantino, mm-hmm. but like the Ozarks, you know, and things like that. Okay. You know, I love those type of stories. I mm-hmm. like I like smart, witty writing. Okay. You know, I don't, I don't like things that's just kind of jumbled up and thrown out there, throw it against the wall like mm-hmm. some spaghetti, and then we're going to see what we can make of it. Now, okay. I really okay. do have an appreciation for for good writing okay. and to be able to put the project together. And and this is another thing. With me um, having this as my, fa- my first feature, mm-hmm. whoa. Did I, did, I, did I jump in that water? <laughs> I bet. I bet. I, I jumped in that water. I got uh-huh. in there, right? And, uh-huh. um, you know, and that's just another shout out to Cassandra Bell, you know, because I did jump in that water uh, uh, mm-hmm. way prematurely than mm-hmm. I needed to. Okay. You know, but having somebody like her on my mm-hmm. side, you know, to Guide navigate you. me through it, you know, it really kind of helped it out. And, you know, and I had some other dope people who was around me to be able to cushion uh-huh. you know, and, and kind of make me look a little better than what I really <laughs> was, you know what I'm saying? I know that's right. <laughs> Through the whole thing. So I, I definitely got a lot of love and a lot of respect. And no matter, you know, no matter what with mm-hmm. this particular project, it's always going to stand out as that special project for mm-hmm. a number of reasons. You oh, know, yeah. And, you know, I, my, my son, one. yeah, my son, he, he got the star role in it. You know so, okay. And then, you know, and he earned it. He, okay. he got out there. He took his business, you know. He okay. earned it, you know. So that's going to make it always special to me. And um, okay. like I said, I did write it when I was incarcerated. And mm-hmm. one of my partners who I was incarcerated with, you know, at the time when I did write it, mm-hmm. you know, we still are uh, connected with one another. And nice. he, exec- he was one of the executive producers oh, on it. Okay. So, you know, it was just a lot of things that just came full circle that make this project work. That's amazing. What advice would you give to any upcoming authors filmmakers oh man for one don't never give up yeah don't never give up no no um you know i've been through a whole lot of things i've been 
you know, you just got to believe in yourself mm -hmm. enough to keep moving forward. You know, it's not, everything is not going to always go your way. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and to be honest, that more often than not, it's not going to go your way. Mm -hmm. And to me, it feels like a testament of how much you really want it. Yep. Do you want it enough to uh, have to be out there? You know, I'm, I'm spending my last dime. Mm -hmm. Do you want it enough to have to be out there like, man, I'm, I'm up to three in the morning, yeah. you know, thinking about this or thinking about that or listening to the critics or things mm -hmm. like that. So if I had any advice to give to them, it's to keep on striving and no matter what, you know, don't give up on your dream. There you, you go. Know, I don't care what happens. You know, I've been incarcerated. We ain't going to use that excuse. You know what I'm saying? If you All get right. there, you end up being there, use the time to get yourself together and focus on your craft. Mm. You know, come home, Gems. do what you need to do to, to maintain your lifestyle, mm. but don't put your dreams to the wayside. You no, know, no. Um, and outside of that, believe in yourself. Believe in something that's higher to you. And you find your tribe, man. There you that's go. one of the most there important things. Find your tribe. Find the people who you can really work with mm -hmm. the best. You know, you guys got a chemistry with one another. You got, you know, a groove that you can set off. You mm -hmm. know, find the people who you can work with. There it's going to go. make you getting your projects off a lot easier. There you go. And that's where it all, you know, it boils down to networking. Networking, networking. It's, it's key. You know, everywhere I go, y'all, I network. Network, Absolutely. network, Absolutely. network. Because you never, you know, there's always people, like-minded people, and people that know more than you Absolutely. that can help you out. You know, you hit great that advice. Right on the head. You great hit advice. that right Yes, on the head. it's true. You know, that's why they say, you know, you try and link yourself with like-minded people or people that know more than you because, you know, they can always teach you stuff. And you're never too old to learn, y'all. Never. Absolutely. Last thing you want to do is be the smartest person in the room. <laughs> there, you know, there you go. There you go. You don't never want to be the smartest person in the there room. There you go. Man. If you're the smartest person in the room, find another room to get yourself into. There you go. And go there ahead go. and start there taking it go. from there. Amazing. Amazing. Congratulations. Man, I appreciate it. I can't it. wait to see it. Oh man, I can't wait for you to see. Can, so are you gonna do like a, a premiere, a movie premiere, yeah. and all that? Uh, yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. You know, we're gonna build it up real big. We're gonna do it real big. You yes. know, I done spent all my money, man. If y'all, <laughs> if y'all would have helped me out, and y'all would have sent me a couple bucks, you know what I'm saying? I'm still spending all my money on this. <laughs> So I most definitely, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that it gets, you know, the exposure that Definitely. it deserves. You Definitely. know, let people get out there and check it out. And, you know, once again, it's a first-time project. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I learned a lot. I learned oh, a great yeah. deal about the cinematography mm -hmm. world, the cinema world, about myself, about other people, mm -hmm. about, you know, just really kind of... Um, the integrity of a project, mm -hmm. you know, and what it really takes to bring it all together. So, you know, I take that, love that. Right. But, you know, we going to keep it moving, you That's know. That's right. One down. Hey, how many? Go. There you <laughs> go. There you go. So, David, how can people reach out to you? Where's, where's uh, all your you know, you can catch me on Facebook at David J. Say, David J. Silas Author. Uh, Instagram at David J. Silas. I mean, Instagram at Top Shelf Productions. And YouTube. That's your production company, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Top Shelf Productions. Mm -hmm. You know, on uh, YouTube, David, uh, David S. at Top Shelf Productions at dot com. You know, you can catch me at those on uh, those spots. Right okay. There. And then your books, your two published books, can we get that on like. Yeah, you can actually get those books on Amazon. Okay. You know, you know as well. So, okay. So, yeah. Nice. So, but I do want to thank you also for having me on, on the scene. Oh, scene. you are so welcome. You it's know? been a pleasure. Yeah, I definitely like that. And um, I hope to be able to, to come back. And oh, definitely. Else. Oh, yeah, that's a must. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I can see big things happening for you. Oh, yeah, it's so you are down. definitely welcome to come back. And I can't wait. Um, we'll definitely have to have you back, especially when uh, you uh, debut the movie. Yeah. Most definitely, yeah. Oh, that I up. We'll be doing that, yeah. As soon as that boy gets ready to drop, uh -huh. I would love to be able to come here and do a part of the countdown. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, I want to congratulate you, um, salute you um, on your 
the project, this big film that you're doing, and um, your books. Um, you definitely got to get the others published. Absolutely. Yeah, get those out there. and yeah, definitely. might become movies. There you go. Make them into <laughs> movies, you know. If you uh, need any actors, actresses, you know. Oh, hint, yeah, hint. most definitely. Hint, most hint. definitely. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know I was surrounded by such, with, with so much talent. So much yeah. talent yeah. here. <laughs> so much talent. So definitely. But you definitely have to come on back. Um, keep grinding. Keep shining. Um, there's tons of great Great minds here in Chicago. Great talent here in Chicago. Yeah. You know, and, and what you're saying, that, that's something that I absolutely 100% agree with, right? Um, mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer in the diamonds and the dirt theory. Yeah. You know, because I look at, I always look at that situation as my situation. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm not too long horn or anything like that, but... You know, we do have our special talents and our special gifts. And when it comes down to writing, mm -hmm. then I do that shit. There you, you know go. And that's something that I do. And I feel like that I'm one of those diamonds in the dirt. So that because I feel like that about myself, I also know that there are a lot of people. They may not be writers. They mm -hmm. may be actors. They mm -hmm. may be singers. They may right. be this, you know. They may be cinematographers or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they have the same talent, skill level, and drive that I Facts. have to make it. Yep. So I believe in that. That is know? so true. And I and I definitely um, I look forward to giving those opportunities to a lot of people. Man. Amazing. That's what that's what I'm on. There you man. go. And there that's you go. that's straight from my city, man. I definitely want to do it for my city. You hear that, y'all? Chicago, you hear that? <laughs> Dova City. But definitely. Salute. Congrats. Um, I will get you your T-shirt and your mask. I'm out. But we will have them soon, guys. Um, but on that note, thank you again for gracing my platform. Can't wait to have you back. Good luck with um, all the finishing touches on the county. I need one of them t-shirts too. Oh yeah, most definitely. I no, you. I got to get me a t-shirt. <laughs> so we we gonna swap it out. Yeah, you get mad to me, I'm gonna get yours to you. There you, there you go. <laughs> On that note, you guys, thanks for tuning in for another dope episode of On the Scene. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and see you next time. Peace.